Guys, this is Percy's246 here, and I'm here to do another book update. Uh, I don't usually do these, but the last video, the last book update that I did, I actually titled the uh, Stephen King book haul because that whole video was about Stephen King books that I had recently ordered. And in that video, I actually mentioned having three more coming in the mail, and that I would do a video on them about a week or so. And I never got around to actually doing them. They all came in. I was actually, I actually did an unboxing video. I just never uploaded it because it was <laughs> it was actually really quick and I rushed it a little too much and I wasn't prepared for it to come in it came out of nowhere but um uh this one's not going to be titled Stephen King Book Haul as you can already tell because uh the first book I'm going to show you here is actually from a different author and it's actually one I just got today and that is The Alchemist um uh, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to mispronounce it and sound like a complete ass but here's The Alchemist from um, Paulo, at least I'll just say his first name, at least Paulo. It actually comes with introduction from the author himself too, so that's pretty cool. I actually had to get this for my uh, my high school, where I had to do a like a, annotate the book, which uh, I'm not really fond of doing. But and especially since I bought the book, I don't. I'm not really a person who writes in their books, like who writes their names down. I probably did it when I was younger, but I don't like writing in my books at all. But uh, here it is. Uh, actually seems really interesting it's been praised like a bunch like the first two pages is nothing but praises from other authors and critics so that's the author right there too uh so can't wait to read it and um yeah that's the alchemist uh now everything else is gonna be Stephen king books i have five books for here today and if yeah five books so next we have salem's lot Stephen king and um like last time all of these are gonna have the first edition covers they may not be the first editions, but they at least have their first edition covers. So here's the Salem's Lot with a little town in the middle of the O. So this really cool cover uh, by the author of Carrie. This is uh, Stephen King's second book uh, published under the name Stephen King. Salem's Lot. And then here we got the back. And then when we took the dust jacket off, completely plain, and it says Salem's Lot. And I'm not sure if there's an image on the uh, other side of the dust jacket. Uh, no, just a little bit more information. So yeah, that's Salem's Lot. I actually started reading this, and I only got through about 30 or so pages, and then I stopped because I had to go out of town, and when I came back, I just never got around to finishing it, but I will eventually. Uh, the next up is uh, considered one of his best books, and that is The Stand by Stephen King. Again, this is a novel by the author Shining. And here's the cover, again, the first edition cover. This is actually smaller than any of the other Stephen King books. It's like the same size as Carrie, if you remember that. Here's it right next to this uh, Salem's Lot. It's actually a little smaller and a little bit, uh, it's, as you can see. But um, uh, this is just like Carrie. Uh, the size of it is just like Carrie. It's just a little bit more thicker because it is a longer book than Stephen King. And then we got the back. And this one actually does come with an image of Stephen King himself right there, so it's pretty cool. And then right here, you get a little uh, synopsis for the f book. And then um, here's the cover again. I haven't actually gone around to actually reading this yet, but I will eventually whenever I have some free time. Um, next up is actually one I just got uh, last week, and that is uh, Cujo, a author of Firestarter. Uh, now, this was, uh, this was on my uh, shopping card. On Amazon to get it from an, an, an independent sellers, but uh, I went to Half Price Books and I saw it there and I just couldn't resist it, so I got it. It was only six bucks too cheaper than I would have uh, would have gotten it on Amazon. But yeah, here pretty cool cover with uh, the dog right there. Uh, we got the spine right here. It says Viking Publisher Cujo Stephen King, and then the back we got a uh, picture Stephen King rocking a uh, full on beard. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, and then we got the. Uh, Inside of the flap right here, gives you a synopsis for the book. And then here it is without the dust jacket. And then, uh, here's the other side of it. So, yeah, um, here's Cujo. I, I read, like, the first couple pages, and then I stopped because I didn't, um, school was about to start. I got this right before school started, and, and, and school was about to start, and I just didn't want to start it and know that once school started, I wouldn't be able to finish it. Uh, next up is the one I 
ordered first out of the summer. It was the last one to come in, and that is Stephen King. It. I was looking forward to getting this. I really wanted to get it, and uh, I was really pissed off when I got it because, um, first of all, it's an ex library edition, which it was not mentioned in the comments for the uh, from the seller. They did not mention that it was an ex library book, and um, I got it from a completely different seller. Also, I got. I looked at the papers and I looked on my uh, phone for the information and the the papers that came with the book list a completely different seller than the one that's uh, on Amazon.com. Here we have the back with Stephen King with his guitar, which is pretty cool. But there it is. It says uh, that's the print from the library, both on the top and and the side, not on the bottom. But it's in really bad condition too. Um, it's not in the greatest condition, but um, I haven't thought I haven't thought it yet. And here's actually the the little thing that tells you the people the days they actually got it. And the last day was on September of September eighth, twenty twelve. So this, this is recently in a recent ex uh, uh, library book. But right there it says October fourth, eighty six. So uh, this is a first edition, and I guess that's pretty cool. But it's in really bad condition. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get another one, but I haven't gotten around to it. And the last one is another one I got from Half Five Books recently, and that is from a Buick 8. This is another Stephen King, uh, obviously another Stephen King book. Uh, it really interested me, interested me this cover, uh, so I decided to get it. It's a, a shorter one of his. It's a Stephen King from Buick 8. I kind of don't like that um, the name of the book is not spread across the whole spine because it just looks at a place in the on the shelf but I can let that go and here it is without the dust jacket and the dust jacket itself is actually pretty neat uh, first let's see like there's a synopsis for the book and then Stephen King himself this is uh, one of a recent book compared to all the, all the other books I'm shown it's more recent and here it is spread across the dust jacket is pretty cool this is right here there are Buicks everywhere it's like this matches a, a Buick with a police car so that's really cool I don't really know what this book is about I've read the synopsis but it, it still is kinda strange but uh, hopefully whenever I do get around to reading it I will enjoy it so uh, that's my entire book haul for this video uh, spread across and you got the Alchemist, Salem's Lot, The Stand, Cujo, It, and From a Buick 8 uh, so that's Purchase 246 hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time